I think I speak for everyone when I say we were all really surprised that a first-time director won the grand prize at the 30th festival this year. Tell me, how do you feel? Well, it's an honor to accept this prize. I really appreciate that the committee gave me this affirmation. It has boosted my confidence greatly, and I will use that energy for my next project. Could you tell us a little bit about what that project will be? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't. But I assure you, there will be one. Well, we are all very excited. So, I've heard some rumors that this story stems from a real-life experience you've had. Can you comment? <laughs> this is definitely nothing more than a rumor. I'd be in jail if this story was real. Hey, Emily. How are you? Uh, uh, how was the trip? Uh, not too bad, except it's absolutely oh, yeah, freezing. Of course. Here, let me get that. Yeah. yeah, I'm... You're lucky the roads aren't closed. The snow's usually pretty bad this time of year. I don't feel that lucky. Uh, it's just this way. Yeah. I'm sorry you've had to come all this way. It just happened so quick, and I didn't know who else to call. Please don't say that, Emily. Stephen was very dear to me. Thank you for notifying me when you did. Of course. Right here. Is, uh, is there anyone else you've told? I'm afraid not. My father was a lonely man, and his friends hadn't checked up on him in years. That's a shame. So, what's the plan? Are you busy? Yeah. Christmas is always a busy time at the firm. I can't stay long, I'm sorry. Is everything OK? Don't let me stop you from your business. It's fine. They'll just have to do without me for a little bit. OK. So, Stephen's body is down at the morgue in town. We could go there in a bit and maybe you could help me pick a casket. Of course. Thank you for everything. Let's just, let's just warm up a little bit first and go see him, yeah? Of course. I'm so foolish. Here. This will warm your bones. Maybe you could take a nap upstairs and change into something more warm. Go on. I'm sorry I quit. Me and Chloe and my fiancé were trying to have a baby. Trying to quit with some of the bad habits before then. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's lovely. Yeah, you better not drink it then. If you'd offered me a smoke, I wouldn't have been able to say no, but uh, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to take this. I'll be two seconds. What's up? Honey, I can't really talk right now. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, I'm just at a funeral. Look, I, it's fine, honestly. If the company credit card bounces, just use my private one. It's in my desk. But I'll be back in two days. I love you. Hey Alex, I was thinking that maybe with these flowers.
lot of smart ways to keep your money at your own place. Anyway, could you confirm the address is in fact um, 47 Union Street, London, Edgewood? I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just a little accident. I'll be upstairs. No thanks, no. No, you you know you know the way I like it. Yeah. You you know I don't trust the banks, okay? be in the kitchen preparing dinner. Uh, yeah, I was. I was just tidying up. Oh, never mind that. Just pour me a bloody drink, will you? Yeah. start dinner. Who's there? I think I speak for everyone when I say we were all really surprised that a first-time director won the grand prize of the 30th festival this year. Tell me, how do you feel? Well, it's an 
honored to accept this prize. I really appreciate that the committee gave me this affirmation. It has boosted my confidence greatly, and I will use that energy for my next project. Could you tell us a little bit about what that project will be? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't. But I assure you there will be one. Well, we are all very excited. So, I've heard some rumours that this story stems from a real-life experience you've had. Can you comment? <laughs> this is definitely nothing more than a rumour. I'd be in jail if this story was real. This story came to me when I was talking to Grace, my producer. She said something about there being no absoluteness in reality, just in TV shows and movies. And I had to agree with her, but it made me think about the way we judge a person or a character. Where are the boundaries between our thoughts and our actions? Can you extrapolate? Say, I want to kill you. But that does not mean that I will. Same if I only try to. That does not mean that I actually did. The only common denominator is, well, killing you. But the consequences are very different for each scenario. Thinking, trying, doing. Everything has its boundaries, but most of the time, the line is too blurred. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sir?